What's going on guys? So today on this Shooky Quickie, I forgot where the camera is. It's over there. I've got a not new figure at all. And it is the, not even really old, but it's been a few, you know, it's been a while. It's the Ray and Dio, Dio from uh, that last Star Wars disaster. And uh, the main reason I picked it up is because it says clearance right there. So I already have the Ray and BB-8. I don't have the um, Force Awakens Ray. I don't think I ever will get that one, honestly. It kind of sucks. This one, at least, greatly improves on the face sculpt for Daisy Ridley. And yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are exactly the same. Probably her staff, maybe the gun. Dio is new. Whoop you do. So let's see here. Number 91 on the line. Ray continues to study the Jedi ways, but she grows concerned about what the future in the Force may hold in store for her. Dio. Cobbled from odds and ends in a workshop of a droid smith, little Dio is impressionable little roller that becomes fixated upon BB-8. That's mostly true, but I gotta wonder if that description was written before the movie. Because I don't know if it was cobbled together. But let's get it out here. Or them, I should say. Sometimes this is awkward. Here we go. Trash can right there. All right, quick look here. And it looks like there's a couple little dings. Maybe it's just white reflection on her face. That face sculpt does look really good. Not seeing any major paint defects. Lightsaber is painted okay. Staff is okay. The gun is ever so slightly bent. That could probably be fixed. Dio looks a little bit ridiculous, if I'm honest. Part of me is like, did I get this figure? So I'm actually looking over at the shelf just to double check. Where is Ray? Okay, there she is. Actually. <laughs> so my my original Ray figure is actually kind of leaning back a little bit but this is actually pretty good not gonna lie huh but the foot's all out of whack so that's something so coolness let's do the uh, thing where we Did something actually fall out all right so there we go Ooh. white balance Okay, that's a little bit better. So there's the Ray and the B, not BB-8, the D.O. So in the plastic prison here. So let's get the bow out. Okay. Sometimes you gotta look at it and be like, I don't know how they got this in here. Oh, that was sketchy at best. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. This is just wanting to snap off. Oh man. Oh, it still comes apart. Okay, that scared me. I was like, man, that was going to snap in half. Actually, it still would have snapped because that's right where it comes apart. So, pull that out. Get her lightsaber out without doing too much damage. Get out her gun. Get out the droid that was way too important. Oop. And a tiny little foot so to speak ah I got my finger and then we got Ray for the plastic birthing ceremony you got your foot yeah there we go get your legs oi oh good god Ray good god Ray I missed the box okay so We'll skip Ray for the moment, and we'll go straight to accessories. All right, starting out with her staff, which looks to be the exact same mold as her previous staff, but with better paint. In fact, ow. You know what? I said previous, but realistically, this is not the previous staff. This is one generation back. So I do not have the Ray training on Octu, but this is her first staff. 
So let's see. Let's compare it. The strap is clearly different. They must have learned their lesson somewhere. But the mold looks the same. With the exception of the ability to break apart. So here, as I mentioned before, you can get it in her hands. You can wrap it around her shoulders or whatever by taking that off. I think the bottom. Yep, bottom does it too. So you can do some stuff there. So we got some nice brown paint. Well, I say nice. You got brown paint. You got white paint. Uh, the strap is definitely painted that color. Could have done with a little bit of dry brushing on it. But, I mean, as it goes, that is a, that's a step up. Considering they barely did anything with this, this garbage. And this looks like it'll actually wrap around her fairly well. Oh yeah, that, that, that definitely wraps around her a lot better than the previous ones. And then we have the pistol that Han gave her. And I could have sworn that the original version came with it, but I can't find it. It might have fallen out of her hand or something, but... It looks good, except for the fact the barrel is definitely pointed up. I think that's a little bit of damage from plastic. Mostly silver paint with some black paint, or it's molded all in black. And the paint is just all the silver, but, you know, it, it, it works. And lo and behold, she can actually hold it in a pistol gripping hand. So, you know, finally, something useful. You can also put the pistol in the holster. It looks really good, so I'm just probably going to leave it in there, to be totally honest. And then we have her new version of Luke's lightsaber, which is, you know, repaired. So it's got the leather strap running across there. It's been put back together. Honestly, this isn't painted worth crap. I mean, it's got the black paint looks terrible. Silver paint is okay. And the blade seems to be one of the new ones. Judging by how hard it's pegged in there. But you can see, look at this blue. That is dark. And you can also tell it's a newer blade by how thick it is. That just looks purple. I don't know what they're going for with that. And she can hold it. <laughs> it maybe. <laughs> maybe she can hold it. Damn, so thick you can't even get her hand around it. That was bad, I'm sorry. So she can hold it, but obviously that blade is stupid. Though, um, there's nowhere for her to put this. Like, there's no storage, there's no hook, there's no nothing. I don't know what they were thinking there. And then lastly, we have Dio as her final accessory. And he is sitting on the little foot thingy it came with. And I don't know if that's being held on by static or just there's enough clinginess left from the tape that was on it. It might just be static. Yeah, it looks like either it's magnetized, but this isn't metal. Hold on. I don't know, it's sticking to it somehow. But either way, so there's Dio with the lamp head. His little antennas move, which is more than I considered he would have. Does he have a neck joint? Oh, he does. Okay, well, sort of. Hold on. What's, what's going on up in there? I think it's a ball joint. Yeah, it's just a ball joint. Okay, so the little slats there for his eyes, so to speak, are painted gr uh, black. He does have some dirt wash, which is gross. He's got the hair dryer front going on there. And not so great paint happening all around here. Like, I guess this is actually supposed to be a light tannish color. And then we've got... Yeah, it's just not good. I mean, I get that he was basically locked in a ship for like 60 years. But this is hideous. And definitely warped from the packaging. This picture... Or this picture. This figure's been sitting around for quite some time. we got some like silver-ish paint going on here on his upright thingy. And his wheel does move, as you were just seeing. So the wheel does actually move. Green paint, more dirt wash, all that mess. So I'm going to put the dirt facing down. And like I said, this little foot thingy. I don't know. I remember watching a review of this, and he lost the thing. He probably never even knew it was in there. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to super glue that, because now he's so loose... <laughs> he's he's so ridiculously loose even though he's on the stand he won't stay upright there we go so there's that and for comparison real quick we'll bring in bb-8 which of course these two had their own little separate love story throughout the movie huh? 
Hi, I'm the new tiny cute robot. And there he is, roughly with Ray, so you can see how tiny he is. And then we'll just bring in BB-8, just for the heck of it. I hate that it sits like that, but so there's there's the accessories with the Ray. And speaking of, let's go ahead and take a closer look at her because frankly, this is a much, much better looking Daisy Ridley face. Look at that. The digital face sculpt and face printing works. So you can see the super shininess going on around the eyes. So, I mean, it looks good. The hair actually looks really nice. She still has the uh, same kind of hairstyle, though there's no wash over the hair. I think that's one thing it might be lacking. And let's see, what does she have? She just have a single ball peg head. Yep, nothing else going on there. Nice plunging neckline. Yeah, it's nice. And of course, this is her new look for the movie. She still has the same wraps, but the clothes are way cleaner, way brighter to show her move towards the light side. Whereas in the previous movie, she was all gray. She's Ray the Gray. And then, let's see, we got an armband here. We got shoulders painted right there. Does she have a butterfly at all? Nope, old school shoulders in there. Disc hinge, whoa. That's a giant gap between up and down. Look at that. It's not a whole lot. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's just, okay. And then single jointed elbow, let's see, better than 90. And then the rotation is installed in there. That's definitely scary. You have the wraps molded on her arms and painted on with that light, not quite white. It's an off-white and then brown there on the hand. Disc hinge wrist, which is fine, except that's her lightsaber holding hand, which means I need to point like the, I don't know, gun hand that's on the other side, which we already saw. She can hold the gun. Speaking of which, the gun's in the holster. And all this is molded on and then painted with this ugly brown. Like, that is nasty. Like, it's a little darker on camera than it actually is. It's just gross. By the way, she has this nice backpack accessory that's floating about here. Um, looks good. I do wish they had given us a hood up version. I think it would have looked pretty good. She had the hood up for a little while during training. And then during, uh, I think before she went after Kylo on that planet. But she got a lot going on down here. It's nice. I really do think this is a good looking figure in general. Like, you know, they, they capture the proportions and the look of Daisy Ridley very well. A lot better version of Ray, let's just be honest. Uh, leg articulation is going to be super limited by all the stuff that's going on here. So, I mean, she can kick forward, but this is all molded into a skirt. So that's not getting you much anywhere. The pants are super shiny for some strange reason. The thigh cut does work at least double jointed knee that's going to be limited due to what's happening back here and then she is wearing her high water pants so they they've come down since the last movie but early since the first movie but you know still high water the line isn't perfect there for the leg but it is what it is um the the see it's molded in this plastic and the skin tone is painted same with the boots so the bottom part of the shoe here is molded and then the darker brown for the sole is painted and then it's just there to match that's not bad actually yeah that's pretty good uh just the, the actual line of the leg this one's good it actually goes up in a crack this one they didn't even bother so differing differing qc for differing legs i don't know what's going on there but i do like it it looks good you know and it was a good look for her in this in this movie you know, it was an improvement over what she had. And it's interesting to see that the clothing only changed from movie to movie, but not, but only, uh, let's see, the second movie, it's the only time she changed outfits within the movie. So that's something. Speaking of other movies, let's bring in movie one, Ray, or technically episode seven, Ray. And good God. We've come a long, long way to temporary. I know that's not the actual thing. I'm quoting a specific thing. But I mean, look, the hairstyle is similar, but definitely painted better on one. They went for makeup and stuff on this one, and that's definitely old head sculpt. I assume we'll be getting a re-release of this with a modern head. 
It'll look a heck of a lot better. The body sculpt's not terrible on this, but it's not great either. And you can tell, you know, she's upgraded to a smuggler style holster and moved the backpack to her back, at least in this movie. The shoes are actually different. This one's got a nice, like, texture to it. These are just smooth. Um, neither one really wants to stand worth a damn. I do usually keep her, her on a NECA stand. Good lord. The feet either have too much movement or not enough. Guess which one has which. So, some of the negatives so far are how stiff the joints are and the distance between the soft ratchets. Because trying to get her to stand in anything but just straight up is kind of difficult. So, look, she's leaning forward, which is annoying. So, let me give her her staff. <clears throat> then I gotta give the other Ray her staff. So, there's there's a Ray with a staff. Which is over the backpack, which makes sense. It's over the backpack and through the woods. But they both can't occupy the same spot, and therefore they're fighting for her love and attention. Kind of like Kylo and BB-8. Okay, so this one always wanted to be like up and over one shoulder instead of crossbody. <sighs> Which is kind of how she wore the thing, if we're honest. So yeah, this this staff is terrible in comparison. And then the lightsabers are super different because this is Lights, the previous lightsaber with the hook to go on a belt, and this is the lightsaber that hates everybody and doesn't look like anything and has been force healed off camera before we could reveal that force healing was a thing. So, there we go. But I will say, I need some Kylo Ren's. It occurred to me as I started filming, I'm like, wait a minute, I've got two rays now, I've got a whole bunch of Lukes, and I have yet to get a Kylo Ren. So, I'm going to have to do that. Come on, make your wrist go in a direction. So, she's like, hi, my name is Ray. I can do this. Ray from where? From here. I'm Ray Walker. Either way. <sighs> so, this is an interesting set. I'm glad I picked it up on discount because, uh, yeah, this is one I was not going to be willing to pay full price for. So, there we go. The newest installment of Ray from... The rise of the fandom. So, <laughs> that's it. The fandom menace. Oh my god. That's the name of this movie. <laughs> Why did I never get there? Alright. So, guys, give me a big old thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. I know a lot of you are. Because the numbers have been growing decently in the last couple weeks. And, yeah, stick around for the vlogs and all the other things. Subscribe to the main channel. Subscribe to the third channel. And, of course, go and check out the merch or the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. And, for the love of God, somebody buy Ray some feet that work. Look at this. I just can't get her to stand. But I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, as always, may the Force be with you. And she is all the Jedi. <laughs>